Recently, I received an email from someone. They wanted to know, how do I share folders and files with people? You know, I've tried emailing them and I keep getting an error message telling me that the file is too large or it doesn't get delivered. Well, there's a lot of different ways you can share files and folders, one of which obviously is emailing, but there's also Google Docs. But my favorite one has to be Dropbox. And what I love most about this is that you know, it's got a web interface, but it also works extremely well on your laptop. And if you happen to have a tablet or a smartphone, there's also a Dropbox app where you can also access the files and folders that you've uploaded to Dropbox. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna show you how to share a file or folder with someone on Dropbox. And so to get started, what you want to do is you want to log into your Dropbox account and you want to go to the section at the top. Here there's a little icon that says new folder. And when we click this, it adds a new folder within Dropbox. And so once you have your new folder created, how do you share it? Well, there's two ways you can do this. One of which is to click on the folder. If you'll notice, when I click on a new folder, it changes the folder at the top and it gives me an option to invite to folder, which will let me email someone there's also a share link option. What this is great for is for those of you who use Facebook or Twitter a lot more than email, you can also message people and share your folder link. In addition, there's also the ability to copy a direct link to this folder. So if you want to send it to someone, you don't have to know their address, um, you can also go this route. In addition, if you want to be able to share a folder, you can also simply right click on the folder and you'll get the same contextual menu that you did at the top. So let's go ahead and invite someone to this folder. In this case, I'm going to invite myself and I can add in an additional personal message, maybe to let someone know what this folder is about, what I want them to include, maybe how it's even set up. And once you're finished, all you have to do is click share folder. One thing I do want to mention is that when you do share a folder, you have the option to allow members to invite other people. And this is great if you have you know, a team that you trust, but if you're working with files that are very sensitive and you don't want people to be able to just invite anyone or accidentally invite someone, you wanna make sure you uncheck this. So let's go ahead and share that folder. So now that we've shared that folder, there's one last thing I wanted to mention, and that's that this folder gets a different icon if you'll notice here, this is a blank folder, but when I share a folder, it simply got an icon of two different people. So that's how to create a shared folder. One other thing I wanted to mention, if you wanna unshare a folder, all you have to do is click on the folder or right click and select shared folder options. Here you're gonna be able to see the owner and the people that you've invited, and you can either go in and re-invite them or uninvite them because in this case, I haven't joined yet. So we're gonna uninvite myself. So that's it guys, that's how to create a new folder in Dropbox and how to share it with others. If you get stuck, feel free to send me an email. If you need Dropbox, there's a link to it in the description of this video. As always, thanks for watching.